In this video, I am going to demonstrate how we can use the taper option of the extrude command to create a shape with a tapered angle similar to what you see here. First, I will begin with the extrude command and select the plane I wish to sketch on. Then I will create my shape. So in this case, I will choose the center rectangle to create a rectangle centered around the origin there. I'm going to add a couple of equal constraints to the sides, and then I'm going to modify one of these dimensions here. So we'll make this a five inch by five inch square. Then I will have it extrude up. So I can adjust the distance as always. Let's say I wanted this to go up 10, and then I can add in a taper angle. For this, I need to select the options tab. Then I can choose add taper. I can increase the angle here, let's say to 10 degrees, and I can see that it is tapering to the outside. Since I want it to taper to the inside, I will just simply adjust this to a negative 10 degrees so that it tapers in the other direction. Once again, I can modify this as needed, adjust the angle if that's too sharp, maybe I wanna go with a five degree angle instead, then I can go ahead and click okay, and I now have my extrusion with a tapered angle. This feature will work with most shapes. I can create a circular shape as well, for example. So once again, I will extrude, select the plane that I want to sketch on. I'll add a circle in here. Let's say it has a diameter of 10 inches. Then click OK. Now I can see that it's extruding up 10 inches. And once more, I can select the Options tab, add a taper angle, and then once more decide if I want it to taper out or in by changing it to a negative value. Then click OK. That concludes this look at the taper option of the extrude command in Creo Parametric.